Lovely once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Dinamo Kiev against Barcelona. I'm your commentator, Peter Drury, and providing his unique brand of expert analysis, here's Jim Beckley. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. So off we go then. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? It's hard to overlook Gerard Piquet. He should be given a bit more credit, I think, for his performances. Anticipates well, composed on the ball, and, and pretty good in the air. That'll all be needed for what's to come here, too. Well, quite no argument from me on that one. Looks to dink one in. Still well to tidy up the situation. Barcelona are working the ball as only they can. Yeah, Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high-caliber technique to move the ball about quickly in tight areas. Out to the left it goes. Sergio Busquets. It's a brilliant interception. Looks like a good ball through. Oh, he's put too much on it. PK. The fact that we haven't had an attempt on goal is becoming a, an embarrassing reflection on these teams. Gets it back. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Charges in. To say that was an exemplary tackle, stopped him dead in his tracks. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. The idea was good, though, Peter, and I like the run that triggered the pass, but the quality was the problem. Spoon forward, passes it through. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. <laughs> Philippe Coutinho! Tonight by a great piece of goalkeeping. Well, what a tester for the goalkeeper because it was struck with real venom and I thought he dealt with it really well. Roberto, Philippe Coutinho, and the half-time whistle goes. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil now. Dinamo Kiev, pretty fortunate not to be trailing at half-time. They've been lacklustre and, and second-best for me. And if ever a situation demanded a telling off from the boss, it's this one. He has to spark a reaction. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Griezmann. has got good distance on that. Looks to slip it through. Very little to report from an attacking perspective. Jim, it's a cagey old game. Well, I think it's a, a fair reflection on what we've seen so far. Neither side has produced that many efforts at goal simply because respective defences have been strong. And he has been fouled there.
too close for comfort. PK tries to get it forward quickly. Philippe Coutinho. PK. Roberto. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Who's going to make this theirs? Roberto. Dinamo Kiev are still clinging on here with not long to go. Tries a through ball. Cuts it out. Philippe Coutinho. Sergio Busquets. Roberto. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. He's got it and he's got time. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. There is the final whistle.